Hey there gamers, Retro Rob here. And uh, I wanna mention that I'm fairly aware of the comments that go on down in the discussion area below my videos. And I want to point out uh, to the <laughs> multiple people now that have suggested drinking games based on how often I say certain phrases that I cannot be held responsible for what happens if you take a shot every time I say Hello Kitty during this video. I want, I want you to know, mm -mm, no responsibility. Don't do it, is what I'm telling you. <laughs> You'll get messed up, man. Warning radiation at unsafe levels. Hello, kitty. Hello, kitty. Hello, kitty. Four mini arcades, all of them have been sent to me by the folks over at Super Impulse. And I will of course be covering all four of them, but not right now. No, no, no. I'm going to do them one at a time so they each get the treatment they deserve. So let's start with Hello There Kitty. It's Hello Kitty Pac-Man Edition, which is not based on a real arcade machine, which makes this the only one I think which is not based on a real arcade machine. For the record, this is not my only Hello Kitty item. Don't judge me. For those who are wondering, this is what the front of the box looks like. It includes one game, three AAA batteries, keychain, and instructions. Warning! Do not feed this to a baby. That would be bad. <laughs> The bottom of the box has this cool UPC code. I'm still thrilled by them, what can I say? There's the back of the box with Hello Kitty on it and it says power up. So let's power it up by pulling this out, which should allow us, oh you hear it? Yeah, I'm fairly excited for this, look at that. It's got a background music on and off, sound effects on and off, huh. Is that a volume control? It has volume control. Well, that's all new stuff to this year's machines. Pretty sweet. As much as I want to mess with that, let's unbox it right away first. And did they use any tape? No, they did not. And I'm glad for that. Okay, let's pull it out of here. And we'll get back to this guy in a minute. First thing, of course, we have is the famous or infamous catalog of stuff you can get. And uh, look at all of it. There's little G.I. Joes. Oh, man. I used to love G.I. Joe. What's kind of funny is I'm old enough that I was kind of on the borderline between uh, the really old G.I. Joes and the mid-sized G.I. Joes and then the small G.I. Joes. So I played with all of them. Fought lots of little wars. There we go. By the way, I noticed that the Hello Kitty one is not listed. You know what I'm saying? Not in there. Too new. <laughs> there we go. What else do we got? We have this, the instruction manual, which usually tells you how to change the batteries. And also reminds me, oh, nothing on the back, about the first like eight of these I reviewed and didn't realize that it just used triple A's. It happens. All right, I think we can take a look at the machine itself now. There's the front of the arcade machine, looking pretty dapper, again, since I don't have any real arcade art to compare it to, I don't have to, which leaves me free. I wonder, this looks like this joystick might be thicker. Let's take a look real quick. No, no, it's exactly the same thickness, or at least very close. So false alarm. Here's the right side. The vinyl, as usual, is pretty thick. Um, It feels a little bit less 
thick than maybe the last or first generations. Um, no, you know what it is? It's less glossy. They're using a satin finish, a slightly satin finish instead of gloss. Here, you can probably see it here. Wait, see that? Yeah, it's, I don't know if you can tell, but it's a little more satiny than the finish they used to use. It's actually not a bad thing because the other ones are super glossy. All right, here's the left side. Power up. Here's the back. You put batteries in here. There's an on off switch here and there is a metal keychain here. As always, I am gonna tell you, you probably should not use this as a keychain on your keys. Hang it off your backpack or something, that'll be fine. Uh, but I'm pretty sure you could seriously start damaging the artwork on the sides if you actually used it on a keychain. There's the top. And the bottom has a speaker on it. <laughs> so you can hear, and uh, that's um, basically the same as all of them are. Hmm. Thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, or I will go Skynet on your butt. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, here we can adjust the background music, the sound effects, and the volume. Thankfully, it's actually really nice. I'm gonna try and keep my fingers out of the play field. It might be a little difficult. I'm also attempting to play the game through the camera, which isn't as easy as one would think. Come on, you. No. Oh, sucker. There we go. This hello level looks just like the one uh, from the App Store version. So, I'm pretty sure. They're close, if not the same. Come on, you. Eh, not happening. But on the other side, this is a hard side to get down. Oh yeah. No. No. That one dot. All right. Come on, you little bugger. Ah! Rats! Let's say you start out in the middle of this duck. There we go. I almost thought about getting revenge on those ghosts, but... Discretion is the better part of valor. Right, we'll do one more level here. So much harder to control from the side. It is dead on. There we go. No. Oh, rats. Can do this. Um, oh, 
Almost. Yes! Oh yeah! That's some Hello Kitty action. Shouldn't you be playing Dig Dug, Figer? Hmm? Alright, and here are the three Pac-Mans. We got Miss Pac-Man, Hello Kitty Pac-Man, and regular Pac-Man. And which one is my favorite? Well, pretty clearly it's Hello Kitty Miss Pac-Man just because of kind of the originalness of, or the originality, originalness, originality of the IP. Uh, the fact that it's got volume control, which I think right now you're experiencing why volume control is important. Um, the other thing is, I don't know if you can see it, but versus Miss Pac-Man, Hello Kitty Pac-Man runs a lot smoother as well. It does uh, have the advantage of being a couple years newer. They've learned a few things off of running the other two, and that makes this one kind of the definitive version of Pac-Man to play. Obviously, if you want like an authentic arcade Pac-Man, you're going to go with one of these two. Uh, but if you just care for playing some Pac-Man, I would go with Hello Kitty Pac-Man because it's just pretty darn cool. Anyway, that is it. I want to thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it or found it educational, <laughs> please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in a couple days. Bye.